priceless points. Two managers shake hands. The victory meaning much more, of course, to Manchester United. But by heaven, Sheffield Wednesday made them work so hard for it. They led, but Bruce brought Manchester United back and then gave them the victory. We take how the things have turned this year. That uh, the last minute goal, Bruce's goals against Sheffield Wednesday, for instance, it brought a sort of excitement that the support almost was saying, We are going to do it. It is going to happen. Corner 12 for United. Over it comes from Irwin. Bruce meets it with his head, and it's in the net! Steve Bruce scores! Side, he turns it back in. It's coming across to Bruce, and Steve Bruce has scored! Steve Bruce with a header makes it 2 1 in the 51st minute of the second half and United go top of the Premier League well I hope the camera is working um, I'm fiddling about with it I haven't a bloody clue what I'm doing but uh, here goes um, this is my first time for doing anything like this um, it'll probably be bloody dreadful but uh, here we go um, it's my insight um, to exactly what it takes um, for my United to try and win the Premier League title. Who's your mate? Ben. That's a good result. You just come back now? Yeah. What score was it? 4-1. 4-1. That's not bad, that. Hey, Doc. Are you taking over from him now? Yeah, I have to, well, on match day. So I told you to be prepared for that and prepared. Yeah. Come on, Jim. That's why. That's why you're a Dane, you see, and we're, we're British. That's the difference. You're not British, you're Scottish. I'm British. You're Scandinavian. It's a German. It's a Jerry, isn't it? It's not video, eh? That is on video, by the way. Oh, no. The dressing room humour is brilliant. Paul Ince is the practical joker. Physio Jim McGregor leads the wisecracks. I've sensed tension for the past month, but it's never quite surfaced. There's a belief and a determination which wasn't as evident 12 months ago. The gaffer picks all kinds of moments to keep us on the ball, but really we don't need reminding. The buzz from the crowd noise when you walk out tells you what's wanted. It's sunk in yet exactly what's, what has happened. Um, Go on through him, yeah, okay, my reason the front room there. Don't come through the kitchen anymore, though, right, please? So I'm trying to talk to my camera. Where are you going? What? What are you getting? A yeah, tadpole. Excuse a second. <laughs> right, Amy. What are you doing then? Where are you going? Wait, where am I? Let me think, let me think. Well, it's uh, now Sunday morning, breakfast time. Uh, I've woke up to the headlines. Um, I think yesterday against the old, uh, at Old Trafford, against Sheffield Wednesday, there's something which I'll never ever forget. Um, the sheer emotion of it all has left me really mentally and physically drained. But then I get up in the morning and I see headlines like this. It's uh, it's very satisfying, and I'm obviously quite quite proud today of yesterday. Um, I think I'll have to score two goals a little bit more often. Well, the male, <laughs> red devil, hell of a picture. <laughs> Heading for glory. Sure was an ecstasy. Mm. Bruce Brace sets pace. Catchy, I suppose. News in the world. And the people, my friend Steve Bates. News nice, nice headline and everything. Then ironically I could be playing out my last days at Old Trafford. What a nice man he is. Can't even wait. Spoiled me. A moment of glory. Thanks. Fast and Bruce. Yeah. Never been fast in my life. What gigsy. Very good. Bruce Blade. You can see the wife's already cut them out. Because <laughs> he's got a good nature, you see, Bruce. Max Senna. Uh, Comedy director. <laughs> He's enjoyed that actually. But uh, he didn't it's... do too well on the trip to Norwich. I know. It's... 
we sent him to Hollywood for coaching. Long distance road journeys are the lousiest part of our job. There's none further than this one, a five hour trip to Norwich. For most of us, it's killing time. Andre Kuchelsis could sleep on a clothesline and even noise from the gaffer losing the cards won't disturb him. Well, I think in the context of the importance, I think the Norwich first half was quite brilliant. I mean, the, the cutting edge to our game that night was, was really was frightening. It was breathtaking. That's the point I made after the game. It was Please breathtaking. Room. Number 20, ladies. Let's see if I can get any of gigs. Huh? First one ever to do it. Here you go. Gigs, come in. I'm seeing it over there. Right, what? two of you, sit on the bed and I've got a proposition for you. And it's got to be on video. Now you can't disappoint two kids, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's what? That, this ain't right, this monkey's been watching this. Oh, good. Vulture. Vulture. Oh, no, Stay back away, Steve! I don't need that, you can't have that. Oh, good, you don't. I've been asked by the producer, Mr. Giggs, to see if I can get the first interview ever recorded with oneself. I think you're going to have to ask my agent, Mr. Paul in. <laughs> the agent? Um, well, it's a sum of that money, really, you know. I know it's only coming to the game, and um, mm -hmm. it's just about to buy a 400 grand house, and. Um, <laughs> you know, if you don't really want money, it's in like a Porsche 924, please. Is that okay? Leather interior. A leather interior. <laughs> Any particular colour? No, a serious matter now, right? Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about Norwich? I need Norwich. Well, say, listen, we left the camp, right? It's a long journey for the boys, like, you know? Could you make the babysit, like, you know what I mean? Babysit? My wife ain't going to be happy before I go. No. <laughs> I've been to know it, alright? I'm just sick of travelling, man. Yeah, it's travelling, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. What do you mean you're sick of travelling? Oh, I swear. I'm only a young lad. I'm only a young man, young. Well, I'm watching this to you, Cam. What? Why life on one? <laughs> For intellectual programmes. Yes. Why life on two? Why life on two? <laughs> no, no. No, Kitsy, Kitsy. So when, I, when am I going to get you? What do you call it? Um, <laughs> that was the boy's diet. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want to go to the gym now. We're going to turn this off now. Yeah, I think you're better. I bet. Who's going to get the green blazer? Claire and Fia, McGregor, company secretary, Mr. Merritt, and Norman Davis just having a stroll. It's now Easter Monday. It's a beautiful day again. Everybody relaxed and enjoying 10 minutes peace and quiet before obviously we start all over again. The pressure's on now. Look at this club. on the third. Oh, they're all the same. They're exactly the same. All nine irons, aren't they? This is going straight into that field over there. Now you've, go you've got to adjust. No, 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 not going to the field. Don't we no, can't hit the brick house. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> think I'll miss that. How can I go and miss that? Go on then. Put a watch. Million pounds. Oh, oh! I don't believe it! Okay, we'll need to see the, the company go. Not everyone's relaxed. Eric Cantona's wrist is causing some concern. Because today, it's going to be better. I'd like to move my hands. Yes. So today, I don't need it, but it's only two days. Peut-être que samedi prochain, je n'aurai pas besoin. Oui. Mais aujourd'hui, il se dit qu'il n'a pas besoin aujourd'hui. Mais ses fingers sont beaucoup mieux. Et il sent qu'il n'a pas besoin d'une autre injection la prochaine fois. Oui, oui. 
You're just absolutely today, you sure that you need one today? No, you're absolutely sure yeah, okay. you have besoin. Well, for for me, you don't have one. You realise it would be better, it would be better if you could manage without one. It's it would be better. Pour se passer. Non, mais je, je, je préfère. Pour être à 100%, okay. moyen, je préfère. Il s'agit d'un Il s'agit d'un Neil. 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 Il the results are staying great, and even my camera technique is getting better. Just saying it. It's really bad weather in Scotland today. They turn them everything. Because they've given them everything else. Best weather, best fish, meat, best footballers, countryside, <coughs> best people. Dennis, you've got to run through your Coventry goal for us, Den. Sorry. Or is it B3 or 4? Make sure he's ready. Close my eyes and hear it. Keep it dived over here. Keep it dived over it. Oh, quote, that not be able to go in. I think Dennis Owen has been absolutely magnificent. I think he's been easily the best fuel by in the league. Goes about his job, comes into training, does it, goes away, no got a word at him, turns out on a Saturday, Dennis, performs, Dennis. 9 out of 10 every week. You can put the kettle on for Dennis. But, you know, that, that, that that's the kind of player you need to win championships, you know. The one who's going to give you the 8 and the 9 out of 10 every week. And you don't need to be, you know, looking, you know, get through your books. So, well, well, his forms, no, it's a great just now. I wonder if I should give him a rest. I never even consider Aaron for rest. Never. Three weeks left in the season, and the most demanding for everyone. But it's only about ball work now. Don't risk injuries, and just keep sharp. Physically, we couldn't be any fitter. Just practice, and more practice. Anything is better than that treatment table. I want this guy in the video and not squat. And the video? Look. Alright. Alright. Right. Okay. You know, you fixed Eric. Broken arm, broken wrist. What else? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're back. Yes. Sure. School holidays test your patience. Young fans flock to the training ground. And it can be delayed for up to an hour. For autographs and picture taken. But we never ever refuse. It could be a nuisance, but I'm sure we'll all miss it one day. United fans are quite remarkable. They turn up at every session, whatever the weather, and whatever the view. And there's always the autographs and the pictures. Not that our backroom staff let you get big-headed about it. Here I am, Jimmy, massaging the superstar's calf. Tell, tell me, call it. <laughs> I've seen a larger muscle in a wee sparrow. Stand there, right? And hit it. Use your neck, right? And look at it, right? Too easy. Too funny feet. Okay. It's important to keep busy with all the spare time. I am lucky. I'm a family man with two youngsters, and I run a soccer clinic in the school holidays. I know it must be really, really difficult for young lads like Giggsy and Sharpie. Just too high. So we've got a boring day ahead of us. Come you in? Yeah. Boring Friday. It's just thinking of something to do rather than just sit in the house. Good afternoon, Barris House. Can I help you? Cheek. Yeah, speaking. So talk, oh, talk us through it. What, what is going on there? What are you doing there? Are you looking just to buy? Yeah, no, I'm just wasting somebody's time, basically. <laughs> <laughs> just wasting my own and somebody else's time. I'm going to tell you a very good thing on this. 257. Every year. <laughs> Don't make well, me laugh. The first year's mortgage paid. That's a hard enough. I've actually got one of these at home. A relaxing day in the life of. Uh -oh. That's the one. Yes. Okay.
to, to kill time is, is a hard thing to do. Especially trying to find things that are not going to wear you out. It's difficult at times. It's difficult. I mean, I've got mates that are in Manchester that, that are sort of at college and with ordinary jobs like. Um, and they're out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Which is something that you just can't do. Bit of a Larry shirt there, you know. <laughs> the Sarchi shirt, something like that. Uh, bright <laughs> yellow one. You pride yourself on your clothes here. Yeah, I like, like my clothes, yeah. Another Larry jacket there, bright red. <laughs> so, yeah, I like, I like clothes. That's what I spend most of my money on. T shirts and. Loaded no, up a lot. So what about um, I mean when you get money and obviously things that, all the things that go with it from that kind of side I mean how would you know what to do with it and you know what I mean um, well you, you get people from the PFA that uh, that advise your pension wise and savings plans and basically you just you just make sure that you're paying enough you're paying as much as you can into pensions and savings schemes that are going to make give you your money back when you're finished uh, and then. While well, I'm single and not supporting anybody, I'll blow the rest. <laughs> and in a couple of years' time, I suppose I'll think of settling down and maybe even look back and think, well, if I hadn't spent just as much and all this lot. But money's for spending. But money's for spending, and when you're young, if you can't spend it when you're young, you're never going to do it, are you? An empty <laughs> mailbox. I know. I picked not some much you'd like, <laughs> No, I picked some other books, right? Yeah. So, uh, comes in every week, you see. Oh, does it come in daily? No, I don't think so, no. I picked about two bags up on Friday. What kind of things is this there? You know, some is just, just autographs. And um, now and again you get, like, young girls fucking love letters and that. <laughs> oh, nightmare. trophies that I got when I was um, younger. Where's your Rumblows Cup medal? I think my nana's got it actually. My nana has a lot of my trophies you see. Yeah. Back in Cardiff. What music are you into? Soul mostly. Brand new heavies. Oh. Brand new heavies Michael Jackson. Kenny Thomas. Carbohydrates. <laughs> Carrots. As you can see in the dark. You have to be quite strict on your diet, or does it not really matter? I'm not so bad. I'm not alright. I'm alright. Because I'm so skinny. Come <laughs> There's nothing more and we were ashamed of Where's the camera? 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 <laughs> I want to 
Anyway, I'm going to play centre forward. Jolly good. Nice start to the day. Well, you have to expect that, I'm afraid. So what about the old uh, paper talk on the back of the papers this morning? Well, I think Polly must be worried this morning. <laughs> no, no. I think when you're linked, when you play for a big club like this, you've got to accept things like that, that have players become available. Good players. And he's a good player. Des Walker, we all know he's a good player. Uh, it doesn't matter what position you play, that if good players become available, you'd expect my name to be signing them. No. Doesn't mean in the say it's going to be the end for me or whatever, but you have to look at it and be a phys philosophical on it and think, well, yeah. There's Walker. Mm -hmm. But we'll just see, I mean, you've seen all these things in the papers before. Bloody hell. You can do the facelift, I think. It's a good centre half space, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Told you, I'm going to send her off anymore. I'm going to send her forward after last week. You like football, yeah? You're going to see your dad? Yeah. No. It's kick off at two o'clock. And I. And it's. And my party finishes at three at the party. So my mum's going to go and pick me up and then I'll go to play the football. Hi, Pete. You okay? Yeah, good. Not too bad. I'll pick you up in about 10-15 uh, minutes, yeah? Yeah, well, what time's it now? Ten past. Ten past, about uh, just after quarter past, yeah? Just after quarter past, twenty past eleven. Because you know what he's like, Vince, man. Yeah. Turn that camera off, I'm tired of that camera. <laughs> it's the camera, you know the dreaded camera. <laughs> You're okay. Is that the secret service? We're looking for a team to go through and play in the final. According to latest figures, what is the average age in years of a bride in Jamaica? I'll tell you what it is. We will go to you, you first, know. Steve, huh? and ask you 55. to tell us what you think. The average age of a bride? You reckon the average age of a bride in Jamaica is 17? No, and of Maureen at the Jolly Tanners? By which name in the English version of Hergé's cartoon is Tintin's faithful fox terrier known? Oh, Spotty. What is the name spotty. of that fox terrier? It's not Spotty. In Hergé's Tintin. Oh. Snowy. 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 Uh, in J.M. Barry's play, Peter Pan, who was the leader of the pirates? <laughs> 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 the answer is Captain Hook. Yes. <laughs> Which young actress played the female lead in the 1980 film, The Blue Lagoon? Jay Fonda. No, no, Blue Lagoon's... Uh, no, no, no. Everybody. Good shoots. Yes. No, no, you didn't. Right. 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 To win this game, I want you to tell me the year it came out. You're right. You're right. Just give it to me! Give it to me! 33. Don't try and copy it! What year did the film King 34. Kong, the original version, come out? 1933. Oh, oh, you lucky You didn't even know that, by the way! Yes, Joe. I'm not happy about that at all. Get that bloody came off me. I'm not happy when I'm losing. <laughs> You should get him in the back, Steve, because he don't do nothing him. <laughs> never bad game, I think it's a bad game after that. Okay, can you just move back a bit?
Two and a half hours to kick off. It all starts to get a bit serious now. We have virtually the same pre-match meal wherever we go. Mine's a piece of fish, but nobody really eats much. And there's reminders all around about the task ahead, especially when the gaffer scotches transfer rumours. Just time to sort out tickets for family and friends, predict a few scores in the player sweep. That's worth 70 odd quid to the winner. And at half one, the gaffer takes command. And I go back to the last Saturday's game. We we'll have got to stop the carelessness. Make sure we get chances, Eric, the passing, the finishing, get it done. You never know it. Sometimes you might only get a chance in a game. Another pass about Chelsea. They're erratic and they're offside. They get out quick. They go out in steps and stones. They're all over the place at times. I'm at the club six and a half years now. And Brian Robson and Brian McClare and Mark Hughes and Steve Bruce have listened to my team talks now for six and a half years. But on the motivation, there's a factor that is common with winners and is their own self pride. Born winners or real winners usually have a sense of pride, they can sort the, their own thing out in their mind. That's a challenge. You think they're enjoying it, by the way? Eh? Chasing us. We'll make sure it's even more of a worry for them. Saturday night, going into their game tomorrow. Make sure we get our games done. Now, enjoy it. It's a great part of your life. I'm enjoying watching it, I'll tell you. It's good. <laughs> Just think what you'd be like to get 51. <laughs> eh? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so you have to be determined in these things. And you have to be determined all over the place. That's all that's required. Your fitness is good. Your football's still playing really good football. The crowd's there. They were great last week, by the way. We were absolutely brilliant that crowd last week. And it'll be the same today. Okay? Right, good luck to you. Go and enjoy it now. Do the best. It's the old best. Good luck. There are some rituals in our dressing room which never change. You've never seen so many handshakes going on. The gaffer usually takes the lead and then everyone takes part. I suppose it would look funny to a stranger. To us it's important. It's part of the preparation. It happens in most dressing rooms and over the years I've appreciated its value in psyching everyone up. In a way it's a superstition, but it bonds team spirit, it raises the adrenaline, and we're ready for anyone. Thank you. 
had time to rest some limbs. He took off McClare and brought on Robson. He took off Giggs and brought on Kanchelskis. This after Giggs had nearly scored a quite spectacular goal with a 40-yard lob and the goalkeeper oh, oh, There was some good skill in Castanar today, but as a contest very different from last week's nail-biter, Manchester United 3, Chelsea 0, and Aston Villa, of course, played oh, tomorrow. Oh, the score of first game, three Premier League leads, nil Crystal Palace, nil on that 4-0 victory for Liverpool at Anfield against Coventry, that included a Mark Waters. Most of the details are in now, I think, and we can give you uh, a full classified check. Good second, good second, great second. Another victory and another step closer to our dream. Maybe we can, after all, repeat the achievements of 1967. <laughs> So what's this game all about then? Is this uh, something Eric's organised? Uh, yes, Eric has organised it and uh, it is a friendly match. Uh -huh. uh, most of the people who are playing this team uh, were playing with uh, Eric in a, a small club which is called Le Cayol uh -huh. uh, in Marseille. Uh -huh. Jean-Marie Cantona. Jean-Marie Cantona. Frédéric Tigana. Frédéric Tigana. Okay. That Eric Cantona has come to the club and I have to uh, relate to that turning point for me anyway that he brought a, a, an amazing imagination to the team and he improved players thinking part two uh, the creative mind he has is, is uh, transmitted itself right through the team I'm <laughs> going to uh, Ali I always remember after we beat, beat Leeds L in the season, Bruce and Pallister were raving about him in the bath after the game. They thought he was absolutely magnificent. They couldn't get to grips with him. They felt that he was a real threat to him. And sometimes players can tell you more about opponents than yourself even, and they maybe even watch them a hundred times. You, the players who maybe play against them sometimes tell you more than you can. Well, it's, uh, it's Wednesday the 21st of April. Uh, we're now down at Crystal Palace. Looking back at the weekend against Chelsea, it uh, was, was an easy game for us in many, many ways. Um, we scored two goals, which really killed off the game, and then Eric scores a third one just after half-time and the game's finished. Let's just hope all the games remain like that. This is possibly one of the biggest games we've played because if we win this, I believe we'll win the league. That's Mr. Nose looking at you. Mr. Nose looking at your car.
give it to you if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as bad as I would have thought with the games it's had on it. If they put some water on it, it'd be really good. I, I'd have to have a word with Stevie on that one. On match day, he likes to be informed as to what's going on. Of course. You know, the same as you Absolutely. would like to be informed yeah. at home. That's right. <coughs> and then it's down to him to give the nod. I have it, uh, you know, all set. It, uh, it's uh, the fine tuning is then down to him. Today's ground, I like Crystal Palace ground. Tea at five o'clock. Uh, team talk half past five. Go to the game at half past six. Prepare, warm up, and that'll happen week in and week out, uh, season after season. And uh, it does become a little bit monotonous, but um, it's worth it. You're going to lose. I only did a few sprints, short sprints, and then I did a few, couple of longer ones. The hamstring was fine, and this was like that. Cold sweat when I got into the hotel. By England? Now I've got to pull out. Got to? Yeah, the man just told me to pull out and just rest for a week. Half time, and I was glad to get at half time because it was such a doer game in the first half. But I was glad to get in there and settle them and make one or two points, hopefully, that it would relax them. And we did tell them the result. significant night. It's a change in the game. It's a change in the whole week now. Who said the green and is unlucky? Mark Hughes is uh, quiet and shy, an unassuming sort of type of character until he pulls on the jersey and when he when he, when that comes on and he gets out there on a Saturday, it's a different man. Um, he's uh, he's man, man United through and through. I think he said that he would never come back to England unless it had been for Manchester United and you can see the way he plays that he, he loves his football club and uh, he'll be the first um, to recognise the the chance what we have got and um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Mark Hughes is, uh, is the one who finishes up the hero um, he's adored by all the fans and you can see why because of he's never say die attitude and uh, in his will to win this could be the most special Sunday of the season, but it's business as usual for the lads. We don't need reminding that if Oldham beat Aston Villa, we're going to be champions. No, it can't really happen. Can it? The gaffer didn't want us to watch the game on television, but we did. And it did happen. And to think I'd only planned a few quiet drinks with my neighbours. Hope the gaffer can see us now. <laughs> What about you? No, I can't. I mean, like, it's quite well, wasn't it? Too much. Hey? No, consistency, consistency, the man in. I love him, I love him! I'm going to talk about Vous the moyen l'année dernière, vous avez cru. Just speaking to the camera now again. Oh, okay. I've got the. What was it again? Highfield Road. Right. Yes. Hold on. Uh, Shabby got the ball about 45 yards out. Close up. We've only won. Passed it to me, I was about 25. 40 yards out. Yes. 
hit it by a rocket. Yes. Keeper didn't see it. The last moment. moment. Uh, exactly. And it was in before he knew it. Yeah, exactly. That'll do for you. Yeah, 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 y
<laughs> you can relax and play and win, you know. And only when players are only when players are truly confident can they show their best. And if you're not truly confident tonight, you will never be. You will never be more than truly confident than tonight. Unfortunately, with the league rules, Wes doesn't get a medal because he's not appeared. What a ridiculous situation. Uh, so he doesn't get one, but I don't know whether you, maybe you should just go up. Anyway, well, I think you should go up anyway. Yeah. You've got to be standing there, Wes. Who was trying to go on the Wes? This is the greatest night of your lives, and I hope you've got many of them. And remember what I said to you some years ago, and it's true. Just look around the dressing room. Just look around the dressing room. You say to yourself, well, I'm glad I've got my team. And I think you can look at each other and say that. Everyone of you. You've all contributed fantastically well for us. So have a very right good night and make sure you perform. All right? I'm only going to ask what you're up to last night. I dare not ask you. I dare not. You said, I've got Paul Parker, and that's all I was, and I've got Rob on his way. That's, that was all you said. Uh, you know Draw this game, must win this match. Of all the games you've played, I've just got to win this shit. Yes, one particular reason. Uh, it's going to be the bigger brand. Yeah, it's like you're putting it in there. It's like you're putting it in there. The simple reason is I don't want us to be losing, winning the league with seven defeats by their name. That's what. Oh, yeah. <coughs> 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 what did you say? Nelson managed, we won. Nelson managed, he can manage. He said a few notes. He should like for the cameras. Get that iron video. Such courage. Such courage. Am I caught? Is he caught? Is he Is he caught? Is he expecting it good? Is he expecting to see Claret winning? I've wanted all of them on my life, you know, to bring it down here on the volley. I should have done it. Why didn't you? I know. Hey? You think it's going to hit on the volley? Oh, it's got it. Get one of them. I thought, nah. I'm dreaming now. I've always wanted to score a volley since Swansea, 1978. How can you walk with them? You want to be a tired looking. Pally, you want your tired looking carrying our belt? See, you guys are getting in trouble now. Hey, what about the referee? What about the, the penalty decisions? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. The referee, though, the, the referee, the referee, the referee, the referee, referee waved me on, but he shouted because he didn't see it was intentional. But he's three yards away in the lane, it's 50. Never mind, he didn't give it, did he? <coughs> Would have been up being seen now, I've only had the one yesterday. <laughs> I think the structure is the best I've had, and I really believe that. I think one one of the most important things we did was we we stripped the club really in the sense of the older players in the club. That was a conscious decision. It was maybe an over brave decision at the time, but we went for it to build a, a fresh young club that could accept a few challenges. Um, and you look at it now. We have a, a young first team. I mean, Brian's 36, but Brian, I think, could still play for a couple of years. Yet, you know. Steve Bruce is 32, and the rest are all that coming are in their prime or coming to their prime.
this camera now, I must say, I'm totally fucking great. I've had it now for six This season has been one that I will never ever forget. The best season, in fact, of my life. It's been great to have my own personal video diary to remember it by. I do hope you've enjoyed sharing it with me. Great season, Steve. You played, you played like you played a blinder, my son.